Ziggity Zig talking his way out of bronze game number 114, if I am correct. Yep, and this is show match game number 6 between myself and Agamemnon over here. This was the sixth match. He was ahead 3 2, and so uh, Furious Geo decided to put it down on Scorch Haven. That's the one. I actually learned the name of this stupid map in order to do this. Now, what we didn't learn is. <laughs> Probably, we're not sure, but probably close bonds are disabled. So normally on this one, this is a 2v2 map where you're, here's you, here's your natural, here's your ally, and here's your ally's natural, and your two naturals come down here to this nice little choke point right here in the middle. Well, we decided that that might not have been the case. We actually did a little bit of checking around. Now, I think we saw number five, and number five was one that I, I did up in order to be the Tuesday game, but then in order to put that one up, I needed to actually feel well. And yes, I was running pretty high fever and didn't get a video out, didn't even get anything out, which is kind of a shame and I feel bad, but moving onward, onward and upward. So we'll finish out the week by looking at game six, because it was a pretty good one. At least I thought so. Meantime, after that, we'll have a Friday faffing around, and then some more play what you want on the weekend. So we should be able to keep up, keep up with things. I was actually worried about falling behind on the uh, recording schedule of Lime Not Lemon. Shameless plug. But, seem to be up to date on everything, the only thing I missed out on was a Tuesday video. So, I just didn't get all of these done that I wanted to. However, Scantipede, really? Is that what that says? So I finally find him. However, the entirety of the show match live casted by Furious Geo is over at youtube.com slash se2mistakes. So, go check those out. I actually watched them, they're pretty funny. And some of the things that I couldn't put in here was me messing around a little bit in the lobby chat, which was me just basically being a, being a stupid. Oh, and that was, yeah, so I just said F because he killed my probe. Got myself probe trapped. So once again, I had tried out a few different things. One of the things that I wanted to do in this best in this best death match, basically I didn't want it to just be kind of vanilla games over and over again, you know, us trying our three gate robo build against each other or four gating each other or something like that. What I wanted to do is actually do something useful, try something different, you know, make it slightly entertaining. So what I tried, I, I, I tried a DT build. Never never done DTs before. I threw out the Zealot Rush just to see how that worked. I think that was about it. And then I just kept making more and more screw-ups. I wanted to go air one of these games, but that probably would have been this one, but I felt a little behind, so I wanted to try to see if I could finally get this... Uh, three stalker rush going properly. So there's the first one out. And then eventually I get enough money to get... Ah, there we go. So the cyber core research is off. Now I lost my scout, which kind of blows. Because sometimes I put in a forward pylon. Is he putting in a forward pylon? Oh, I'm going to hurt someone. Oh no, he's just patrolling. That's a big patrol that I... missed. Yep, there he goes on another patrol, checking me out. And there he is on some sort of useless attack pattern. So I did manage to get my two stalkers out. What is my best three stalker rush? It's 505. I don't think I'm going to get it. I got two stalkers by then. Here comes the third, 505, 506. Yeah, 510. 505 is apparently a very magical number. But I do manage to eventually get him. And I pile on block myself. So let's have a look over there. Warp gate is still researching. I can't do anything because I'm pylon blocked. Oh, so that was one of my main problems first off, was the pylon block. So if you look up here, we're actually, I'm a little bit behind in worker supply, probably because I, I spend so long kind of focusing on certain things. But I finally decided to get my three stalkers moving out. Here come a couple dudes. I'm gonna put a stop to this. Probably should have kept them all together because then this would have gone much better. A little bit of micro there. Watch watch this tiny amount of micro here. Watch the selected units. Ready for this? Doing a little bit of stutter step badly. Doesn't work so well. Does not work. The probe goes down. So this is just terrible micro. Finally move that out of the way. And we go back against the... Sentry, and here come two more stalkers. Yeah, because I've got these rallied over in this direction. Cool, so now ready for. Well, almost ready for gateway. Here comes the one right there. 
Where's my four? So once I've got my four, I do outnumber him, and then I get allow myself to get shot at. Because this guy's up here. I think I move a little bit up. Come on, move up. Move up, you're getting shot at. Move up. Oh my god, did I... There we go, yes I did. Nope. I lost him. Boy, that was me paying a whole lot of attention right there. Look at that. Well done, sir. Watch this bad micro here as well. Move the second least damaged one. Do not warp in a pylon. Finally warp in a pylon. Well done. And then... A stalker and a zealot versus one stalker on low health. Well, there's a couple more. So there we go. He brings in a few more zealots. Oh, things I could have done better here. Just the, just the unit control. I think, I think I mentioned it in their comments. I said, who is this idiot with the bad unit control? This is atrocious. Come on. Two stalkers. Two stalkers on three zealots. You've got to be kidding me. I'm about to take in the six zealots. Well, oh well, whatever. And there's the scantipede just, just shaking his head at the probe saying, your, your team is bad. Your team is just bad. You guys are, you guys are just bad at this. What's the deal? You're just bad. 27, 22. So he's got me there. He's got his entire base up the front, which is nice, which is a cool way of doing it because then I'm not getting past it, which leaves him enough space. Knows that I'm not going anywhere further. Does the expo? I believe. Am I ready for the expo as well? Maybe with this 1100 something. Maybe all of this money all this money that I'm not using can I what am I doing I'm bringing in a ridiculous amount I'm getting a forge I have 1100 bucks why am I not getting an expo why am I not making units why am I you're kidding me I'm not doing a thing two zealots Who's out? That, that'll that hold them off. Good job. Good job. Let's have a quick peek over the APM average. It's, yeah, there we go. It's, 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 it's just a 23 type of game. We got two gateways up to the side here. My worker supply is a 25. I got an immortal headed down. Which is, you know, that's fun to have. Good. Good. He's, he's staying steady there, but I really should have put a bit more pressure on this. Or gone to have a peek. Or something. Two immortals? Really? So here's my army. Not quite ready to take him out just yet. Nope. Because he's got the income. Because he's got both. Both his bases harvesting. Decent over there. I've got this nice happy little middle thing. Okay, two. Let's go. Hey, let's go kill him. Come on. Two mortals. Let's go. Turn turn these to gateways. Or warp gates. Yeah, warp gates. Five gate. Five gate to the middle. Go. Or we could twiddle our thumbs. This hurts to watch three immortals Three, really, really. You sort of had the edge for a minute there, but then things went. Oh, he's just all zealot. And for whatever reason, a warp prism. Well, there goes the observer in to have a look at me. And the guy moved out vaguely. Another one. A few more units. A scantipede just shakes his head. No. No, you should have you should have moved out a long time ago. Should have moved out a long time ago. Am I making probes? Not near enough. Here comes his line of this dudes. Just have a look at the units here. So he's got fifteen zealots and eight sentries. I've got nine zealots, three immortals, but immortals do twenty damage. Fifty versus armored. Stalkers do 10, 14 versus armored. Uh, not armored. Not armored. Eight. Well, alright. So it's uh, 49, 38. 
let's see how this battle goes. So I, oh, yay. Not force fields. Force fields against the zealot heavy army. No, not force fields. I do guardian shield against non-ranged units. And I lose. So now it's down to 37 zip. Well, that was fun. Ah, well, let's speed this up. All right, so we've learned immortals don't kill sentries well. Well, we've also learned that you need to be making some units, and you need to use your units properly. Okay, so it was down to quite a number of things there. Let's see. When you see zealots coming at you, cut them off, especially if you have range. Even if you don't have range. Oh, I should throw down some more force fields. Force fields really probably would have made that. Because then I could have fired down the zealots and maybe done a bit more against the sentries. Waiting for three immortals was a bad idea. Two immortals, I probably could have gone in and done a little bit of damage. Uh, also, hey -o, remembering about this little worker supply going on down here. Am I actually making any right now? No, I'm working on plus one, which I think he's already at. Yeah, I think I actually clicked on that. Let's see what was going on. Huh. So, he took it in the sixth game, four games to two. I was actually pretty stoked that I won two games, one of which was bad cheese, but one of which was decent play. I think. When was that? Oh no, when, uh, the one, the other one I won was the Cannon Rush, um, sort of defense and counter-attack. So, meh, it's arguable. Had I played a little bit better, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I probably would have done much better against, uh, Agamemnon, but it was a good game, it was a good series, it was a really good time. Hope to do it again soon. Uh, regular service starts again next week, with the Thwabs going back to the, uh, latter games, got a few. I think I got a few. And, yep. Friday 5 tomorrow. <laughs> that should be a fun one. So leave me a comment. Send me an email, ziggityzigg at gmail.com, or you can follow me on Twitter, at ziggystarcraft. Stay tuned.